Hey Druids and Potential Druids, Kay here, and I thought I would do a video showing you around my room. Usually, my door, which I'm standing in front of, is closed, open, not closed, but I like to keep it closed when I'm making a video because I get a little nervous. So, anyway, here's my in intro, and let's take the show on the road. Standing at my uh, door, you can see pretty much my whole room. You see my printer, a chair, which I do not sit in, and a table that gets used for crafting. As I step into my room and turn a little bit, you see my desk where I write and grade and edit videos. You can also see my Lord of the Rings collection, at least some of it, as well as other bric-a-brac and knick-knacks that I collect. As you see, I love dragons. That collection kind of came about unintentionally. I got one dragon, then I got another, and now I have like six or seven. Down at my desk, I have a very rare paperweight that says the Tenth Kingdom. My friend Wendy in California sent it to me. I also have some plaques and a paperweight that says dream big, we are such stuff, and as dreams are made of by Shakespeare. I got it because it reminds me of a quiz I flunked. And as we turn, you can see my guitar. I love musical instruments. I have several. And all of my Lord of the Rings things. I also love Lord of the Rings items. And I have about 63 or more books. And here is my book collection. All of these are books. Most are organized by type. I have my Shakespeare section, my fantasy section, my classic literature section, and of course another guitar, and a few cool bears. <laughs> now, turning out of that room, you can see my bed, which I don't sleep on. It's more of a reading nook. You can see me. Hi. And I have a spinning wheel. I also have a weaving loom that is not set up. It is in pieces under a shelf with more knick and knacks and bric a bracs. And um, as you see, I love Celtic things. And here's a cool poster I got sent from Germany. And more things that I have that are old, and anime, and a Harry Potter picture that's getting a glare so you can't see it too well. But going from there up high are more figures. Lord of the Rings mostly, but a few dolls as you see. And I collect clocks, so here's one of my interesting clocks. I do not tell time with it. It's just really cool. And some of my artwork and signatures, which I love signatures, as well as swords and old pictures. And that's my jewelry box with all my jewelry. And there's some of my boxes filled with notebooks with an old chair and a box my great grandfather made. And this chest right there is full of yarn. I can't wait to knit with it. And here's my window, but it's nighttime, so you can't see out of it. I'll try to get a view of it. Um, I'll try to get a view out of it when it's daytime, so you can see the trees and rocks. And here's another cool old thing I have that I got a... a shop that was closing 
and my dollhouse, which is fun because it has magnets and you can you can flip the walls around so it's a different pattern. And finally, my closet where I keep my fabric and sewing and extra stuff. It's not the most practical closet because it's really hard to get anything on the upper shelf. And of course you see my clothes and other things, my hats and a sewing machine that mom gave me. And oh, a few more action figures from Lost. There's Hurley and Charlie. And yes, that is a kangaroo person. I don't remember what series that's from. And I have Gandalf the White and Treebeard and then a little art picture from Australia. <laughs> Isn't that cute? And we're at my knickknack shelf with my author boxes and author action figures and other little bricky brack knickknacks and some more clocks. And uh, a frog clock. Well, not a clock, a frog mirror. I've had that for years and I think it's cute. <laughs> you can see me. Hi again. Okay, I'm back where you're used to seeing me. So that was a tour of my room. What do you think? I'm sorry for rambling. I was a little nervous. So feel free to share your room if you want, or at least tell me about it if you want. <laughs> I think that's all I have to say tonight, and I will see you Wednesday.